you know, I had time to think about the LeBron James, Kobe Bryant thing. I'm, I don't want to talk about LeBron James, Michael Jordan, because that's a dead horse that ain't even really a horse worth running because there's no comparison there. But the LeBron James, Kobe Bryant thing got me thinking of a couple of things, and it almost feels kind of sinister. I know some people don't like the fact that he didn't go to his services, that he didn't go to the Kobe uh, shrine and et cetera. And then you got to kind of wonder if the Disneyland, Disney ring was like for LeBron to initiate into Laker world where he got the bubble ring as a way to put himself in the sentence, but knowing that he was never really part of the same sentence with Kobe. Got me thinking because the narrative has been, he came out to LA, Kobe said everything will be cool, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. However, he, the thing is, is that once Kobe retired and especially since Kobe transitioned, they pushed LeBron more. I noticed that. Now, his Laker career hasn't been nothing to write home about because aside from the bubble ring and that Walmart token flag on your wall, which in season tournament, I don't know what that mess is. There's nothing to get excited about. He's been very mediocre. Has to play in multiple playing tournaments because of Adam Silver's hokey situation. I don't think Kobe Bryant would have loved playing in a playing game to make the playoffs. If you couldn't make it, you wouldn't even want to be in it. But you're always dangling at eighth and ninth seed. You're dangling. It's like they always got something agenda. Now, granted, when Kobe's last few days, he took all the money. The Lakers sucked and they stunk. And D'Angelo Russell was a guard then and he was a snitch and they ran him out. But he brought him back and he almost had this deja vu again this year. But anyway, the thing is, the LeBron Kobe story is compelling because of some things that it's like retirement, they brought LeBron up a bit and then he used that old Durant's with Golden State, I have no chance and I have to go out to the West and I really couldn't do it over there. Think about that narrative. And actually, ironically, when, they, when Golden State did uh, lost to Toronto in the finals, uh, LeBron was out with the Lakers. Yeah, he was. And irony is that, you know, at the time, again, people aren't really thinking about how did he exactly pass Kobe up? How did he exactly? Because when Kobe died, they paid Kobe huge honors, but they have taken him down. So actually, when LeBron came to the Lakers, it's like he became a media darling. In ways he could never have been in Cleveland and Miami. In Miami, he was considered, what he accomplished in Miami and Cleveland, he was considered like knocking at the top 10, yeah. But somehow he came to L.A. They don't have to feel, even though L.A.'s more loyal to Kobe, but the media went more to LeBron. And usually in death, you get bigger and you get more moralized. But this is, this is, flipped and so it's like how did the narrative get where he was so far ahead of Kobe and he was more popular even though LA is still more Kobeville and the bubble ring and the instant tournament and his chemistry with Anthony Davis which is interesting because he's showing that he can be a great teammate even though he can't you can't trust him he's flipped more coaches than Kobe did Let's keep in mind, Dale Harris got flipped, Kurt Ramos got flipped, but they brought in Phil Jackson. That was problematic for the camp. But LeBron then had how many coaches in L with the Lakers? Luke Walton. Frank Vogel got the bubble ring. Gone. And you got Ham. Think about it. Coaches, personnel changes, etc. What does that tell you? What does it show you? And this is only a little over half a decade since he's been with the Lakers. Yeah. He had more dysfunction and tension than Kobe ever caused. In hindsight, you know, what's Kobe and Shaq's situation is a whole different matter, but you both probably saw it. But it's an interesting narrative that doesn't get talked about enough. But somehow LeBron came to Tinseltown and the bright lights got bigger for him. And then they kind of dim for Kobe, even though Kobe's supposed to be the native son. And there is this 
you know, LeBron doesn't go anywhere near a Kobe thing. It's almost like when you ever seen people when someone dies in a house or a place and it's almost like they're told mentally, don't go there. You're not wanted because the spirits are talking to them. That's the kind of vibe I get out of this. But anyway, tell me what you think. Please like, subscribe, welcome thoughts, comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another. Share it if you like my piece.